Bishop F5. She so did sack the rook. She sacked the rook. Wow. Well, I mean, that's uh, that's what I think she she kind of has to do, right? Yep, there's yep. there's ideas of what like bishop here and queen d3. Salimova sacrificing the rook, and she's she's very fearless, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, when that rook is trapped, you know, you got to find those developing moves. Yeah. I mean, but I agree. Like queen. Queen b8, king h7. And it's actually winning. And it's actually winning. And how is it winning? Like, what's our big, big threat here? Bishop d3, queen c2, that's it. Wow, you just want to mate me like that. You don't really want to win a knight. Yeah, 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 very nice. I agree. I mean, it's a beautiful attack with the queen and the two bishops. Okay, Anna is facing a shock, I think, with this move. I think we can have the camera on their board so we can see their time situation. It's 14 seconds for Oh, wow, Salimova. 14 seconds. 14 she seconds. made Bishop F5 with 14 seconds. Incredible. She's sacrificing a rook when her time is under 30 seconds. So she pretty much didn't really think so far ahead. It's just intuition. Now, yeah, intuition really matters because sacrificing a rook like that, Wow. Apparently, Anna's best move is not taking the rook, but going rook e3 to get, give the e2 square to the king safely, right? So right. something like that and running with the king. And then Salimova has time to move her rook somewhere and the game continues. Continues being super sharp. All right. So we're in the most exciting phase right now. It is. It is really exciting. So, yeah, rook e3 would have been actually very natural, yeah, be if you see all these nuances with bishop d3 and queen c2 queen, queen c2 but uh yeah of course anna is thinking whether it is okay for her to take the rook on b8 or not because if not taking then black maintains her advantage so there's some psychology psychological dilemma there you're not taking yeah black is definitely better i love it how the most critical moment is coming when both players are like under 30 seconds and the game is actually just blowing up to be like so interesting right now. Oh, she, she took, took the it. rook. She took the rook. She made the losing left. move. Okay. Yeah, 20 seconds left on Anna's clock. And she took queen b8. And king h7, of course, instantly played. There is no other move. And she went back. went back. Is there bishop h6 here? There? Bishop h6 is interesting. Um, I mean, she, but Salimova doesn't have a lot of time to work this out. How about Bishop D3? How about Just your Bishop idea? D3. Just Bishop D3. Just Bishop D3. I think it's she did move. a similar move like that. She had a similar move against Shuvalova. Maybe she'll remember it. Yeah, Bishop Six D3. Seconds. Come on, Bishop D3. Will, will she find it? No, Bishop she went for H6. Bishop H6. Okay, it was too tempting not to do it, but it could be winning too. Yeah, I think I think in this position, this pair of bishops is just too strong. The so queen f2 seems like the only move. Like, what else can Anna do to like not lose the knight? I think she has to go queen f2. And Anna has to has to play fast. 14 seconds queen left F2. on the clock. Oh, but then there's bishop c2, and then bishop d3, and like her king is like getting trapped, and she's losing the knight. No, and this is this is already losing. But we just have to see how they finish it. Anna, don't lose on time. One wow, second one left second. on the clock. Oh my gosh. One second. What did she do? She moved queen f2. Yes, and then bishop c2. Bishop check. c2. Too. Oh wait, there's a checkmate on D3 with the queen. It is, and oh. they shook hands. So wow, what a win by Salimova! It was a very courageous, um, a sequence of courageous decisions by Salimova, sacrificing a pawn in the yeah. beginning, 